So Photomator just low key dropped the biggest update that they've probably ever done. And I'm not exaggerating when I say it changes the fundamental building blocks of how you operate within Photomator. And in my opinion, sets the stage for the next 10 years of updates and what Photomator is really going to look like in the long term. And I'm very excited about it. Now, I'm not going to go deep on all of the new intricacies today. I've already covered that with my beta videos. If you want to check those out, you can see some of those below. And if you'd like more of a deeper dive on any particular feature, let me know in the comments below. You know, I'm always happy to make those videos for you. But today I wanted to show you two interesting workflows that you probably haven't thought of and ways that you can really enable Photomator to bring to life libraries of photos that you probably weren't going to get great use out of. And in my case, this is the library full of all of our old family photos and videos for my parents, grandparents, and great grandparents. So let's jump in. All right, before I show you the cool new workflows I thought up, I just wanted to show you this little piece of UI that cracked me up. So you can come up here and say, what's new in Photomator? And it tells you whatever the cool new feature is in this version of Photomator. And I just died because it says file browser in this nondescript way, as if this isn't the most paradigm shifting thing they could have added to the product. It's just the understatement of the year, in my opinion. Anyway, I thought it was funny. Maybe you don't. Um, let's jump in and let me show you what's new in Photomator. So you'll notice that I could still use my Apple Photos library, but now that they are separate from each other, I can switch and I can just browse files on my Mac. And that takes me to the first use case that you might not have thought of. So this folder right here, if I right click it, you can see actually lives in Dropbox, which means that when I come in here and I make edits to this photo, Anybody in my family that is using Dropbox can see this. Now, what you might not have thought of is that because you can have your files living in any cloud service you want, you can work collaboratively on the edits. So not only am I gonna see this when I log in on different computers, I can actually come in and I can make edits and then my sister will see them or my brother will see them and then they can help edit the photo in some way that they find interesting and all of us can be collaborating together in a way that really wasn't possible before. Now, if you're curious about what this editing workflow looks like, you can go check out my other video that I just released. I'll link it down in the description below, but in general, it is unbelievably powerful, just like the normal version of Photomator is. It lets you get all of the same types of editing tools and I love what you can do with these old photos that I got from my grandparents. You can just do these little tweaks and they look like new. It's pretty amazing. Okay, now the second one that I'm sure you have not thought of is this. So I've got this drive and yes, I could fill a drive full of professional photos, but this is not that. This drive has a backup of an entire old computer. Now this old computer was not organized in any way that makes any sense. So let me show you. You can see that this is literally just an old 2014, so 10 year old MacBook that I grabbed the entire home folder and just dumped it onto a hard drive. And so these are not organized in any way meaningful. And what's worse is I actually have another one go dig out of the closet. That's from my grandma's old computer that is even worse condition than this. Cause at least in this one, I know that there's a pictures folder and there's something I can find there. Now, the great thing is Photomator doesn't care. I just pointed Photomator at this hard drive. And it takes a second to process because it's literally going through a backup of an entire computer. But what I end up with is, for example, some old iPhone photos. So this is my first time seeing Death Cab for Cutie in concert. And you can definitely tell this was shot on like an iPhone 5-ish. Um, a little blurry, color quality is not amazing. But I can also go through though and I can find actual old good photos and I can make edits to them directly. And the great thing is, let's say that this isn't just a photo backup. Let's say that you are planning to keep this folder around. I can make edits and it leaves the edits in place. So that means that whatever I change about this photo goes with the photo. So when I'm all done, I can just come in here and show reveal and finder. And you'll see they're right here. The edits are right there on the hard drive alongside with it. So it's this really great way that you can take like, let's say all of the photos that your grandparents have 
and make edits to them and keep them side by side without affecting the originals. Now, of course, just like Pixelmator, if you would like to affect the originals, that's a setting that you can turn on. But the way that I like to work, I leave this turned off. So hopefully these two workflows gave you some ideas of ways that you could actually unlock photos that you wouldn't have got good juice out of anyway that you probably didn't want to lose. Like for example, I love coming back here and finding all of these old iPhone wallpapers that I forgot I had in this iPhone 5 era. And similarly, I love that I can come back and explore and revive some of these old family photos that really weren't going to go anywhere if I didn't have some sort of software like Photometer to help bring them to life again. Now, if you want to have a deeper dive on how to edit your photos in Pixelmator or Photomator, I'm going to link the masterclass down below. We're four episodes in, going strong, and I think you'll learn a lot by jumping in and joining us. We're also going to be making videos about all of the new Photomator updates coming along. They've published their roadmap if you haven't seen it, and it's pretty exciting, but let me know what features you need to see to make Photomator your ultimate photo editing tool. All right, we'll catch you next time.